Hello. My name is today Plain Black Bill. I'd like to welcome you to the second episode of Human Spaghetti Sauce, aka Cannibal Bolognese, where I will be talking about how I was racially profiled at the happiest place on earth. But, but, but. No, that doesn't work. Okay. So, uh, my family, my in laws to be specific, decided to plan a family trip to Walt Disney World. And all of my in laws happen to be white because, well, my wife is white and she's not adopted. So, there were ten of us in total, and yeah, we went to Disney World. Now, what I'm about to describe happened about two or three times. Uh, on different occasions, I was singled out from the rest of my family by cast members. Um, let me see. The first one was a ride. I do not remember the ride. But I remember, they, you know, you, at Disney, you tell them how many people are in your party. It's like, oh, there's ten of us. And then I was, like, seventh or so. And then we're filing through. And then I get up there and I'm like, oh, who are you with? You know, in their Disney way. And I'm like, with them. We told you there's ten of us. And, you know, we just kind of laughed it off. The second time, we were going to the Lion King show in Animal Kingdom. And I held hands with my wife. You know, kind of be like, oh, I'm with this woman. Make it more obvious. And we were like the fifth ones. Yet again, we were like, hey, there's ten of us. I get there, and they're like, oh, who are you with? I'm like, with these people. We told you there were ten of us. And then the third time I remember was getting on the people mover in Tomorrowland. And... The cast member was like, everybody on, two to, two to car, two to car, two to car. So me and my wife, they're like, one to a car is okay. <laughs> now, to be completely honest, that, I mean, that didn't really bother me that much. Mostly it's just a funny story to tell uh, from my trip to Disney World. I didn't feel, like, isolated or left out. It, didn't, it wasn't like a horrible experience to me. Mostly, like I said, it was a funny story to tell. Though, if someone uh, who works for the Walt Disney World Corporation is watching this, then it is one of the worst things that's ever happened to me. And the only thing that could possibly make me feel better is immediately returning to the same place where it happened with free tickets and, you know, meal vouchers and... Just probably some free lodging as well. I mean, it's it's the only thing that could take away the pain is returning to the place where it happened for free. Though, if that's being the case, we need to make it happen quickly because I want to go before they re-theme Splash Mountain. <laughs> Which, in all seriousness, it's kind of funny. Because Disney's solution to the Uncle Remus character on Splash Mountain is just to replace him with a bullfrog. And also, what they're going to replace the ride with is the Princess and the Frog, which is also black people who are frogs. So I'm starting to wonder if someone who works for Disney thinks black people are frogs. It's not a common stereotype, but apparently it's something they're confused on. I don't know. But anyway, I did want to show you something since last time I did um, some needle points. Though, I mean, only two people watched that video. Who knows how many people will watch this one. This goofy hat my wife and I made for the Disney trip. It's a, it's a pool noodle. Another pool noodle uh, cut in half and glued around here. And that's just a sponge wrapped in... Um, what is it? Uh, plastic wrap. My wife did all the felting and everything because she's impressive and amazing. I came up with the inside parts with the pool noodle and the 
sponge. And um, it's got ears. <laughs> Originally, the intention was for me to wear it on my head with the headband, but the thing was too heavy. So at Disney, we ended up sewing it onto a hat. And as you can see, Goofy hat. My, uh, <laughs> I actually got to meet Goofy when I was there, and he tried to take the hat off my head. It was fantastic. I love Disney World, but also, like I said, um, if anyone from Disney is watching, yeah, the, I just, I gotta have free tickets. It's the only way to erase the pain. Anyway, this has been another episode of my vlog. Um, hopefully more people watch this one. Bye.